So I'm Marvin Pierce, dog teacher. We've got Axel back in here, and he's, what is he, five months old? Six, almost six. Almost six months old. And he came here because he's been here before for daycare, playing and stuff, and he's been here for a class, I think. Uh, but he's just gotten really to be a handful with his owner. And for me, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. I, good. There's nothing wrong with that because we, I mean, it's the whole world's a fast-paced world nowadays. I mean, husbands, wives are working. Sometimes the kid gets old enough, they'll get him picking up cans or whatever. I mean, it's just whatever's happening in life. But for me, this dog has just not cooperated. I mean, you get dogs, and I tell people constantly, this might be the only pup in the litter that was this ornery. He's ornery. I mean, that's all you say about it. But being, in all fairness for this puppy is, he just needs more handling, more training, more consistency on being good. My philosophy is, most of this stuff is you get out of it what you put in it. You know, if you put two minutes a day in a dog, by the time he's 20 years old, you might have him trained. But... It comes back for me, minutes minutes versus hours. If you're training on this dog for two or three hours at a time, me, you're going backwards. I'll train on him two or three minutes, put him up, get him out an hour or two later to work on him a few minutes, train on him, be consistent on what I'm teaching him. Like the video earlier, hopefully we'll have these videos in line so you can go from one video and keep on following a certain dog if you got one. Some people like Doman Pinscher, some people like Rottweilers, and I mean, I don't even know. I've heard of people liking healers. So, uh, whatever dog works for you. Me, I love training healers. I always get back to these dogs because of the fact that they're just a lot of fun. But they're ornery. I mean, they're one of the ornery breeds that I've ever worked with. So, now I'm gonna ask Axel to sit. And earlier, everybody seen he had a real problem set. And I'm going to get this collar up by his ears. Axel, set. And he still says no. Right. Sit. Good. And then I pulled on him at least a little bit. I bit him a little bit. I got him to set. And I told him he was a good dog for set. So to me, he's not wolfing at the camera no more. He's not worried about Dari over there talking to Bianca right now. He's not so worried about the whiteboard. Now there's some dog barking in the kennels and he thinks maybe there's a friend showed up. So I'm gonna do is try to move him and reset him. Axel, come, good. Axel, sit. Hot, 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 good. See, I am not 100% sure that he heard me ask him to sit because he was not listening for me. My philosophy with dogs and dog training is, my dog has to listen for me to speak. People are like, well, he didn't hear me. Well, if he didn't hear you, hot, 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 good. If he didn't hear you, there's one of two things. Good. You didn't speak loud enough? or he was not listening for you. For me, if you're good like here, if I want this dog to get up, I should first say his name, make sure he can hear the name when I say it, and then ask for a command like here, Axel, come, good. Axel, sit, right, good. That time I barely touched the leash and Axel sit. It's because I was, right, consistent. Like here, I'm going to try again. Axel, come. Good. Axel, sit. Hot. 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 Good. Now, he started to sit the first time I said it, then he changed his mind. So, we're going to try again. Axel, come. Axel, sit. Axel, sit, 
See, now he's just flat ignoring a command. For me, I don't care. I think it's awesome because now I can work with that and we can get into where he never refuses a command from me. So I'm going to start with going back to this side. Axel, sit. Good, good. And for me, I don't care. He's not sitting very comfortable. He's got his right leg out to the side. But I didn't put pressure on him to sit. He set himself that way. Axel, come. Good. Axel, sit. Good boy. Good. Now for me, I'm gonna pet him right on the face. Try to keep him keeping the mouth shut. So we're gonna stop this video here with Axel. But like I said, go to Marvin Pierce Dog Teacher YouTube videos and check us out and keep up with Axel. Thanks a lot. Good boy.